Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're out at the range to test a urban myth. Is the muzzle velocity faster out of a bolt action than it is out of a out of a semi-auto? So the theory is that because some of the energy is used to blow back the bolt, that the bullet comes out of the barrel slower. But we're gonna test it today with a Ruger American 308. This is a bolt action 308 with an 18 inch barrel. Our semi-auto rifle is the Springfield Armory M1A Scout with an 18 inch barrel. So anyway, let's try this. Our ammo, the ammunition we're using is American Whitetail 165 grain interlocks with an advertised muzzle velocity of 2700 feet per second. So another thing I'd like to note is that it's zero degrees out here right now and I'm a little bit curious if the temperature will affect the muzzle velocity. Anyway, let's get started. So first we're gonna shoot the bolt action. 10 round string, and then we'll shoot the semi-auto, a 10 round string. So the low was 2,349 feet per second. High was 2,588 feet per second. Average was 2,512 feet per second. Um, extreme difference was 239 feet per second. Standard deviation was 66.65 .65 feet per second. That was from the bolt action Ruger American. Let's do the semi-auto. All right, so the semi-auto, the low was 2,529 feet per second. The high was 2,621 feet per second. Average of 2,590 feet per second. Extreme range is 91.49 feet per second. Standard deviation of 27.73 feet per second. All right, so there were a few things about this test that um, were a little funky. I, I wish I would have taken more ammo um, so I could have um, so I could have done it again, but I didn't. Uh, so the first string of of so the first string of shots we fired from the bolt action rifle from the Ruger American there were a few rounds that were considerably slower than the rest. Um, 2,486 feet per second, 2,493, and 2,349. For some reason, I'm, I'm not sure why those were lower, what, what felt like significantly lower, um, but 
if we take the rest of the rounds um, and do the average with those, the average between the semi-auto and the bolt-action rifle are actually pretty comparable. Um, the average for the bolt-action is about um, 2530 feet per second and the average for the semi-auto was 2590 feet per second that being said I I feel like you know what we're talking about is um, you know 60 feet per second between the semi-auto and the bolt action and the, the semi-auto was actually an average of fast uh, I mean had an average speed that was faster the faster average but that was over 10 rounds where the the bolt action average was over seven or eight rounds so anyway i'm gonna say that was a fluke i i think that was one box of ammo to the other i think there were a, a few rounds in the box or uh, not not in the box I, I shot them out of the same box of ammo but for some reason three of those rounds out of that box were just a little slower than the rest and I think I got all of them all of all three of those were in the bolt action rifle so what I'm gonna say in conclusion is the bullet is gone before the bolt moves in the semi-automatic rifle. And the amount of pressure it takes to move that, well, you cycle it when you, when you load it. So the amount of energy is a few pounds maximum out of however many thousands of pounds of pressure are in that chamber when the bullet leaves the barrel. The amount of force to move the action is very insignificant. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hit like and subscribe.